Hi there, my name is Jan and I am going to show you how to get started with your Xperido test drive. In this video I'll show you how to give your CRM users access to Xperido, download and install the Xperido template design add-in for Microsoft Word, create a dataset and template, how to design the newly created template, and finally, I'll show you how to generate a document using the template we just designed. You should have gotten a mail from us with uh, some credentials and some links and some more information. And in this mail you'll find this link. And let's start by going there. And this takes you to a page on our website with more information about your test drive. The first thing you want to do is log on to your CRM. Now, either you provided us with a CRM onto which we installed Xperido, or you asked for a pre-populated test drive. In that case, we will have set up a CRM for you, and you'll find the credentials to access that CRM in the mail that I just showed you. So log on to that CRM. Then, the next step is to grant the applicable Xperido security roles to the CRM users that will be creating documents. Only the CRM users with the appropriate CRM security role will be able to generate documents. And the role you want to give them is either the Xperdo administrator, Xperdo designer or Xperdo user role. If a user has one of those roles, they can use Xperdo. If you want to be designing templates and creating datasets, you will want the Xperido designer or administrator roles. So go ahead and give your users the appropriate roles. The next step, if you want to design templates, you'll have to download the Xperido template design add-in for Microsoft Word. That's pretty easy. Just open the link here. And this will take you to our support portal on a page where you can find the installers for the template design add-in. Just click here and this will download the file and once it's downloaded we can run the installer. Now that the installer has finished downloading make sure that all your Word windows are closed and then double click the file. This will open a wizard that will guide you through the process. Click next and then accept the terms in a license agreement. Then choose the folder where you want the add-in to be installed. And click install. There we go. Click finish. And if everything went correctly, the add-in should be installed on your system. To verify that, let's open Word. And we should see an Xperdo tab here. If you see this, then the add-in has installed correctly. Now we can start designing templates. But before we can do that, we must create a template and that's done in CRM. So head back into CRM. I have already opened my CRM here. So click the hamburger, click Xperdo, click Xperdo Management Console. In the management console, you will find a menu to the left and some server status information here. Click datasets. A dataset is a subset of CRM data. It defines which fields you can use in your template. You cannot design a template without a dataset. So the first thing we have to do is create a dataset. To do that, click new dataset. On this screen we have to give our dataset a name. Um, I'm going to use account data from the account entity. So let's call it account description um, account data with related contact because in my template I will want to give an overview of all the contacts um, that are related to this account. 
Then the entity I want to base my dataset on is account. And then we can start building our dataset. In this screen, you decide which relations from which entity to which entity and which fields from every entity to include in your dataset. If you expand the fields, you'll see that all the fields are by default selected. This means that you can use all these fields in your template. Now I want to add a relationship from the account to all the related contacts. So I click here to the left and then I select the contact relationship. There you go. And if you take a look at the right then you will see that contact has been added. And of course all of its fields as well. So this means that I can now not only map all the account fields but I'm able to also map all the contact fields and put them in my template so that they will be in my document. So that's it for now. If you want to add relations or remove relations or add fields or remove fields, you can always do that later. So just hit save dataset and then we will be able to use that for a template. Now that my dataset is ready and saved, I could go into templates and create templates based on this dataset. But before I do that, let's go into data samples. I'm going to add a sample to this dataset. And I always do that because samples make your template design life much easier. They allow you to generate a preview of the final document using sample record from CRM. And this helps you during the design process because you can make a change, generate a preview document, make a change, generate a preview document without ever having to go into CRM to see what the document will look like. So it saves valuable time during the template design process. To add a sample, click the plus. Choose a sample name. This is my sample. Choose a sample record. Uh, you can start typing um, anything and uh, the records for this data set, in this case on the account entity. So all the account records that started in A will now be listed. There we go. We got the A Datum Corporation. That's a good one. Click Save Sample. And my sample has been created and attached to this data set. So now we are ready to create a template based on this data set. Click Templates. Then click New Template. Now there are multiple types of templates and there are a lot of settings uh, that you can change, but we'll keep it fairly simple for now. Choose Standard Template for a template display name. My template doesn't really matter. Um, and then a description for your template, uh, account, data, no, uh, contacts for an account. Because I'm going to list all the contacts and the relevant information for a particular account. I'm going to base this template on the account data set that I created. And that's pretty much it. Hit save template. And my template has been saved. And this means that I can now go into Word, find my template and design it. So let's do just that. So here we are in Word. I need to open my project to access my template. How do you open your project? Well, first you need to connect to the correct server. Click connection. Now in my case, there are already a few connections left over from the last time I installed. Click the pencil. Click new and give your connection any name you want. My connection. And then the credentials you have to input here, they are provided in the mail you got from us. So let's take a look. First thing is the host name. Let's copy that, paste. The port should be 8080. There you go. The login type is Experdo Native ID. So click Experdo. The username. That's that. And the password. 
There we go. Let's test the connection. And it tells us that I have access to one project. That's brilliant. So click OK. And then select the connection we just created. That's my connection. And here you will find all the projects you have access to. In your case that will be only one. Open the templates folder. And because I asked for a pre-populated test drive, I already have a bunch of templates in my project. But you will also see the template we created earlier and that's my template. Select it and then click open and check out. So here we are in our template. You've got the Experto ribbon at the top here with a lot of options and then to the right the Experto pane. The Experto pane contains a dataset tab and in the dataset tab you will find all the fields that we added in the dataset. You will also find the relation to contact and all the fields for contact. You can map all these fields in your template. Now remember that we also added a sample. You can find that here. This is my sample. And the good thing about this sample is you can generate a preview, but you can also see once you click on a field in your uh, dataset tab here, you will see what the sample holds for that field. In this case, it was the Datum Corporation, so the account name shows Datum Corporation. And if you go into contact, Let's open this up a bit. You'll see that there are eight contacts for this account. So that's a very good uh, record that we can use to uh, create a list of all the contacts for an account. Now, what do I want to do with this template? I want to create a document that shows me all the contacts for an associated account. But I need to know which account this is. So I want to map the account name in my template. So to map a field, pretty easy just double click it and it will be inserted where the mouse pointer was you'll see that it's it's a it's a data set field because it's, it looks different when you, when you go over it as opposed to a regular text now we can generate the preview because we added the sample remember let's generate the preview click the preview button click I don't know PDF if you've got a PDF reader And there you go. That's our very, very simple document with one mapping in there. So now we mapped the account name. Mapping a field is pretty easy, as I showed you. Just put your mouse anywhere and you double click. If you want to remove a field, you just click it, click the tag, click delete, and it is gone. You can also give your mapping a style just like you can with regular word text. Anything goes really. There you go. Let's make this a little bit bigger. There. So now we have to add a list of contacts for this account. Now to add a list, you'll want to loop over something. If we take a look at our data set again, and we find the contact relation, here we are, you will see that for this relation there are eight contacts. So you, you cannot simply map a field from contact and then be done with it, because it will only show the first, the first one and not the other seven. So we can, we can map fields, from contact, but you will have to loop over all the contacts if you want to show all of them. Let me let me show you that. Let's set up a table, a two by two. Um, contact name, contact email, Oop. email. Mapping a field in a table is pretty much the same as mapping a field anywhere else. You just put your mouse pointer there, and then you find the field that you want full name, double click, contact email, the same thing, we want the email field, double click, there we go. Let's give our table a style, mm, 
there we go. And if you now preview, you will see that well, the table will work, but it will not show all of the contact information, only the first one. So we still have to loop over uh, this table to make sure that it's repeating. So our table is working, but we still need to loop over the contacts, um, otherwise we will only end up with the first contact information, and that's not what you want. So we have to use a loop. Here's the loop icon. Looping is done in three steps. The first step is deciding which area you want to loop over. And this area will be repeated for every, in this case, contact it will find. The area we want to loop over is the second row of this table. So click to the left here, and this will select the entire row. Then we need to select the entity that is repeating. In this case, that is contact. Why do I know that? Because there are eight contacts. So we got our area selected, we got our entity selected, and then click loop. There we go. And you'll see that there's a loop box been inserted. If you go into the mapping window, we can see what has been mapped in our template. And you will see that a mapping is a little arrow and these arrows, they are under a loop, the contact loop. So this mapping window here is a pretty easy way to see what you've done in your template. So now let's preview and see what happens. So here's our new document. You see that it works beautifully. It's pretty easy. The table is the same, but you just add a loop over a row, and the row gets repeated every time there's a new contact. So that's how that works. So we're actually pretty satisfied with this. So now that our template is ready, we want to generate documents from this in CRM. So we have to check it back into the server, and this will save it so that others, users from CRM, can use it to generate documents. So click Check In. Uh, template is ready. Something like that. Click OK and it will now be saved into the server. You see the icon has changed now. So the next step is to go back into CRM and generate that document. So here we are back in CRM. I still got my template open here. Now we need to go on the entity that is used in this template and that is the account entity. So let's go to the accounts. Now here are all my account records. Simply select the record that you want to create a document from and then in the overflow here or perhaps in the menu you will find Experto document. Click that and a pop-up will open. Now on my computer I have already allowed pop-ups from our Experto server but it may very well be the case that your browser will block pop-ups. In that case you need to make sure to allow the Experto server uh, to generate pop-ups for the browser. Otherwise, you will not be able to generate the document. So what do we have here? We have a list of all the templates that you can use for this entity, in this case account, to generate documents. And because I asked for a pre-populated test drive, I already have some templates in my CRM. And some templates are, are already on the account entity. For instance, there's a welcome letter, and you can see a thumbnail preview to the right. There's a national anthem template. And finally, there's a template I just created. And to create a document from that, simply click the Quick Generate button. And this will generate the document using the default parameters. So here is our document. It's stored on the Experto server. Click it, and it will open in the browser. And as you see, I chose the same record I did earlier for the sample, so the result. But as you can see, it's pretty easy getting a document out of Experito. Uh, you just need to know how to do it. Now, I imagine you may have some questions, um, which is very normal, of course, because there's so much you can do and there's only so much time to explain. So what you can do and what I highly advise you to do is to go to our support portal, support.experto.com, and 
simply look around a bit and see uh, whether the information you're looking for is there. For instance, we created a loop earlier. If you want to know how loops work, um, you can find the, the chapter about loops in the template design uh, manual, complete with uh, steps to follow and screenshots, uh, all that in there. Now, in case you can't find your answer on the support portal, you can always uh, contact us directly. You can make use of the ticketing system we provide by filling out the information here and then submit. And this will add a ticket to our ticketing system and then we will find it and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So all that's left for me to do is wish you a happy test drive. I hope you have all the information you need to make it a success. And in case you don't, well, you know where to find us, how to contact us. Um, do not hesitate to do that. We're always happy to get you up and running. All right, goodbye.